Okay, she got me. Oh, uh, hey there, Dusa. How's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. <laughs> Be strong. <laughs> Achilles, sir. I got a relic of some sort out there. A globule of ancient blood which formed after I fought with Megara. Is this really the Titan's blood I found? As far as I know, yes, lad, that it is. Though who's exactly, I'm not so sure. You'd best hang on to it and keep it safe. Your weapons, they shall thirst for it and drink it up. Not yet, perhaps, but soon. Well, I wasn't about to drink it. I see you've decided to come home. Changed your mind yet? Or looking for more pain and suffering? More pain and suffering for sure. After all, you taught me to appreciate the finer things. You keep telling yourself that, boy. But mark you my words. Sooner or later, this life that you have chosen for yourself shall teach you I was right. Good talk. Good talk. How about this, Contractor? The fated list of minor prophecies. That sounds somewhat exciting, I suppose. You requisition that useless bit of parchment. Ah. Nix, sometimes I get the impression the Olympians look down on those of us born of the underworld. Is that my imagination, or what do you make of it? The gods of Mount Olympus tend to think themselves above us, child. Or so your father often likes to say. He alone was relegated to this realm, and grew resentful of his relatives on high. I can't imagine him otherwise. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. What's for sale? Give me the current special. Ooh. Hey, that must be the fated list. I want to go lie down. My extended family seems an interesting lot. The betting prince perhaps believes it was through his own choice that he procured the fated list of minor prophecies, but it was preordained. Oh no, not this determinism thing again. The mirror of night. It is the dead of night or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. 
ever dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as Wilful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But... but father always said that Nyx was m That liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. You... why? You... you're... Nyx, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Hey, uh, something back there for you, pal. Let me give you a piece of advice, boyo. You run across a guy like me out there, you just give him a good stab right in the back without a second thought before he sends you crying back to Papa. I'll keep that in mind, mate. Stitchiest hungers. Let's see what that one does. Might help. Darkness, give me strength. Family. Death is your only family. Death and I. Best to get accustomed to the both of us. No, not on your life.
Time to tune up this sword. extract him from his thorny shell. Now he stews resentfully down there. You needn't bear the brunt of his frustrations. The might of the heavens. enough. that back home.
something. Go Zeus. Kieran's shop. Hey, Kieran. If there happens to be something really horrible awaiting me beyond that door, then give me a sign, won't you? Great. Why not? Good enough to eat. It seems quality hunting gear doesn't come cheap, apparently. beginning to think it's been too long since last I killed you, Zag. Admit it, Meg. You can't stop thinking about me. Don't flatter yourself. I think of you in pain. And now there's no more need for the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> 